my friends to the Temple of the Great Righteous Awakening here in Beijing, China. Hello, this is Mike. I am back in China and this is my, let's say, my first official scope out and about in Beijing, uh, China. And I bring you the 500 plus year old um, righteous, great, righteous temple here. It's known as the Five Pagoda Temple. Hello, everybody. Let some other folks join, and then we're going to just kind of give a quick uh, tour of this place. Beautiful temple here. It's 543 years old. Wow, grand return, Mike. Yes. Hey, Taz, how are you? Lila, welcome. A dream. Me too. Welcome, everyone. Share this with your friends. It's a beautiful temple hidden away in Beijing. Not too many people know about it. Obviously, the locals do. Love your New York City scopes. Thank you, Lila. Thank you. So share this with your friends, guys. Thanks for the hearts going up. Uh, again, it's Mike here back in Beijing, China, and I'm here scoping away. Hi, Mike. Glad you made it back. Okay. Yes, I made it back. Great. No problem. Back in China. So I figured I'd start big and start with this temple that rarely gets, well, really gets overlooked by the uh, tourists because it's sort of off the beaten path, hidden away. And as you can see, it's not the typical Chinese style um, temple. This is actually more like uh, Hindu. Hindu. Glad you made it back safely. Yes, I'm glad to be back safely. Hey, Phil. How are you, Phil? How's it going? Welcome to the Five Pagoda Temple here in Beijing, China. Beautiful, beautiful temple. One of uh, at least six temples that are done in this style in the Indian um, from in Hindu style, I should say, uh, Indian style, Indian style from India. This one is fashioned after a temple in India. And so, yes. And it's 500 plus years old, the original uh, temple that is. It went through some obviously wars and stuff and it was destroyed by fire in two wars. Nice. Thank you, Claire. Thanks for sharing, Claire. Thanks, Rosalind, for sharing. And, and Jay Feehan, thanks for sharing. Do many practice believe in Hinduism in China? It's Buddhism is the main, uh, the main uh, if you can call it a religion. Buddhist, Buddhism is the main practice in China, the main belief in China. So that would be bu Buddhism. This is not still in use. This is actually the whole area. It's, it's become a uh, fill. It's now a museum of uh, stone carvings. So you'll see around all these stone, uh, religious stone carvings, ancient carvings. It's become a museum now. So, well, I mean, I'm just what they're carvings too. Okay. And then they're carvings over here as well. See those? And then, of course, inside there's a. Uh, so it's become, it's been turned into a museum now. So it's not really. Um, an operational temple like other temples. But it's very historic, obviously. Uh oh, you're taking your picture. So now they're taking our picture here because we are celebrities, I guess. So <laughs> we're foreigners. He didn't even ask, did he? No, he didn't. <laughs> So glad it's well preserved, yes. Yeah, yeah, I'm taking my camera now. I'm going to go take a picture of him. Hey, Sarah, how are you? Welcome, Big Mama. Uh, hey, my sister's here. Hey, Val, how are you? Thanks for the education. You're welcome. Your sister. My, my actual sister is here from Virginia, yes. Hey, Mike. Yes. He thinks you're Denzel. He thinks I'm Denzel, someone said. No, yeah, they just they just kind of like to take foreigners' pictures. And I'm who am I? They took your picture, too. You're a foreigner. They took your picture. So, Mike, K-I, hola, Bamla. Hello, hello, hey, my sister. <laughs> Miss your scopes in New York City. Well, I live in China now, so, you know, New York was just a visit. Kisses, Mike. Oh, thank you, Claire. Uh, is there anything that old in the United States? Um, anything more than 500 years old in the U.S.? Only, only Native Americans. The Native Americans? Yeah. Native American stuff. Yeah, yeah. Well, no, I'm talking about the U.S. I yeah. No. 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 <laughs> I don't think we have anything this old in the U.S. Uh, structural-wise. Structural-wise. Listen, the U.S. was founded in 1776. Yeah, but I mean, in the American land, they had the Native Americans. They were doing stuff. 
Well, yes, but we, he's talking about the United States. Oh. Okay, United States. Okay. Do I love vodka? Can you? Yeah, I'm going to get closer, guys. I'm just going to, hey, uh, Christina, how are you? Welcome to uh, China. This is the uh, Five Pagoda Temple. I'm going to go inside. I wanted to kind of, uh, I was having a little discussion with Bruno. That's Bruno over there. He's a scoper. And the gentleman who was taking our picture is right here. <laughs> No, I don't want to take pictures with anybody right now. <laughs> so um, this this uh, this actually is fashioned after a uh, temple in India, and the name of the temple is in your backpack. It's in my backpack. <laughs> can I, can I, is it in the? No, 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 no. Oh, it's in the. Oh, yeah, it's in the top one. Hey, Iran, how are you? Welcome, welcome. Do you work in China? Yes, I work in China. It's in the first one. No, no. No, I, I work in China. Yeah, hey, Jolly Airbrush. Welcome. We guys can get some screenshots, then I'm going to show you inside. Get some screenshots while you're at it. It's, screenshots. It's inspired by uh -huh. the Mahabodhi Temple in Bodh Gaya. Where yes. Buddha attained enlightenment they say okay so this is fashioned after a temple in uh in india where buddha attained enlightenment and that temple was built in 260 bc and that temple in india was built in 260 bc yes. and this one is obviously younger <laughs> inaugurated in 1473 I'll show the carvings right here. Yeah, the carvings are uh, over here. We just got here, guys, so we're going to just do a quick tour. Um, this goes back to the um, Ming Dynasty. This, uh, the Ming Dynasty here. So you have all these huge stone carvings. There are some Indian burial mounds in Ohio. No, I'm not talking about that kind of India. I'm talking about India, India, the country, not Indians or Native Americans. No, no, no. <laughs> Different India. So look at the look at the uh, close up of this thing. All the Buddhas um, in it, um, and then there's a big Buddha inside. Yeah, so it's Buddhist. It's not Hindu. It's no, it's Buddhist. Yeah, it's a definitely a Buddhist temple. And Columbus also made the same mistake about the Indians. I know. <laughs> Asian Indians, yes. So let's have a look inside, guys. I don't know if we can shoot inside. Sometimes they don't allow. Sometimes no photo, I, no photo right? Really? It says photo, it's a, it's a oh no! Well, it's the same thing, isn't it? So it says no photo. So I'm going to shoot from the outside because it says no photo. I'm going to shoot from the outside, guys. I think, well, nobody's stopping me. Let me go see. I don't know if the connection will hold. Hmm? Small. So pretend you're talking to me. Okay, I'm going to do it. Pretend you're this. talking to me. Well, I think I might lose connection back there. What's back? Anything interesting back there? Just go around. It's just a corridor. So there's a piece of wood here. Yeah. So this beautiful Buddha is in here. I, absolutely no one here to check. Yeah, and they, they just left. No one here to check. Yeah, I'm just showing this. So check out the Buddha here. Guys, screenshot that. You can take a screenshot, everyone, and send it to me to M Tensor Travel on Twitter. Why would you ask if there's a McDonald's? Why would you ask that? I'm showing you a 543 year old temple, and you're asking me if there's a McDonald's. Funny. Ha, 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 ha. <laughs> it is beautiful, isn't it? So um, let's walk around. I don't know if the connection will hold if I walk around in here, guys, but they have some really old stuff in here. Look at these slabs, for example. See that? Yeah, I might lose inside because sometimes these things are built. Sometimes they're built so, and then some old wood here. That was obviously part of the temple at some point. Um, and then they've got this stuff up here. 
So I'm inside here. Wow, look at this. Oh my God. This is amazing. This is beautiful, guys. Look how close I am to it. This stuff goes back hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of years. Check that out. I'm not sure how long they spent on the carvings, to be honest with you, how much time spent on carvings, etc. I can find out when I go in the actual museum. Right now, I'm inside the actual temple. Mike, do you have to pay to get in? Yes, it's 20 yuan to get in here. It's 20. So I'm gonna walk, continue walking. I'm, in, I'm actually inside the temple. It's a very small temple, but it's just amazing to be inside. And there are Buddhas on all sides. Here's another Buddha right here. So on the four sides there are Buddhas, different Buddhas. Yes, so you walk around, you've got this thing in the middle, and on all four sides of the wall, there's a Buddha. And there's another one right here. There's another Buddha right here. So on all four sides, there's one Buddha. I think so. Yes, there is. I... Oh, no? Oh, okay. 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 All right, go out. So she said no. All right, so anyway, we're going out anyway. <laughs> you were saying video, right? No, I was saying you were talking to your friend. Oh. <laughs> okay, guys, so that's inside, and um, we come outside, and then again, this is the entrance right here. And I just want to give you the, the actually show you the, the facade of this place close up of all the carvings in it on the facade. It's okay. okay. <laughs> so the entire um, temple is has these carvings on it. And by the way, this temple was covered in white marble. There's still traces of it, but it was covered in white marble, this temple, and because of the, the stone and the um, iron and the stone and the oxidation and so on, it takes on this uh, rust color. But if you think back centuries ago, this thing would have been covered in all like white marble. And at least you, can here. See the, you can clearly see the ones that have been remade Yes. and put back there. Those Sorry. Oh, I missed. Sorry, I missed that comment. Go ahead. No, I was just saying that uh, they remade several of them. They just reopened less than a month ago. Okay, bye, bye Val. My sister's saying bye. Oh, bye, bye. my sister. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so they've got these carvings on the... Let me go uh, landscape here because you get a better sense, I guess. So, um, So these carvings here. And the entire place is covered in these carvings. All the way up. My understanding, there's a spiral um, staircase in here somewhere. Oh, there was. To go to the top of the, uh, the pagodas. To get to the top. 100 years, I'd bet to do. Probably, yes, probably. So it's a beautiful, one of the most, one of the most intriguing and beautiful temples I've seen actually, um, because of the style, the architectural style is so different from what we're used to here in China. It has Chinese elements at the top, as you can see with the tiles, 
but then it has the style of um, uh, from India, Indian temples. So the green tiles at the top, those are Chinese elements. Obviously, the lions at the entrance, Chinese elements. <coughs> anymore so they put benches on it they even have the little numbers for the audio guy oh yeah yeah <laughs> he said if you want to take a picture from there they all have it uh, so anyway guys this is the grounds here of the uh, five pagoda temple which goes back more than 500 years and um right now it's uh basically a museum this i think this is the original stone that's left here it's all encased in glass or maybe over here there's more over here in glass protected so um and then the whole complex here has all these uh these carvings obviously um for cemeteries but and then you got let me show you the carvings over here of these three I kind of want to go over here, show you the three big carvings here. Hey, Sassy, how are you? Sassy Cat. Welcome to Beijing, uh, China. Can I go down this way? Yes, I have to jump down. Oops. Thank you, guys. Thanks for joining me. Look at all the carvings over here. Just to show you, show them to you. I love it too. It's great. This is one of those places that, um, you know, people are aware of it, but not many tourists find it because unless you live here, unless you know where you're going, because it's often an alley, you got to go down this alleyway. It's not, it's off the beaten path, if you will. So you've got all these stone carvings. Again, that go back centuries. I'm in Beijing. Ah, yeah, you should come here. Then, if you're in Beijing, you should come visit. And uh, over there, that's the uh, actual temple. And again, keep in mind that this temple, the entire temple, was covered in white marble. White marble. The whole thing was done in white marble. And over time, it's taken on this rusty color because of oxidation and so on. Hey, Mike, have you ever heard of the Forbidden Area of China with the Great White Pyramid? You mean the, the uh, I think you mean the Forbidden City. Are you talking about the Forbidden City and the White Pagoda? So, it's now a museum and you've got all these ancient carvings behind glass to my left. But let me show you these stone carvings here. So this is a stone statue of military. Those carvings are so interesting. Yes, this is a stone uh, statue of, mil of a military commander. Uh, this statue goes back uh, to 1271, they say. Where are all the tourists? Tourists don't come here. <laughs> tourists don't know this place. That's the beauty of living in a place. You kind of get to know the places. It's a district, not a country. I'd have to ask uh, some of my Chinese friends. I don't, I'm, I don't know it now. So you've got all these cool, uh, let me just kind of, so you can get a sense of the, the whole sculpture itself here. Oh, in Eastern China. Okay, Eastern China. Oh! Careful, man. <laughs> Yeah, I got it. You see, scoping is dangerous, man. I almost tripped over a little uh, marker there. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. So, yeah, beautiful spot, isn't it, guys? Beautiful. Let me just kind of do a pan over here let you see. Don't trip. Yeah, I almost tripped. It's not the first time scoping. <laughs> let me do a pan around. Yes, yeah, got to be careful. Hey, Debbie, how are you? Debbie not here. How's it going?
You're welcome, guys. You're welcome. Stop tripping. <laughs> it is awesome. It is awesome. Let's see it, some of the other. Um, oh, look at this. Wow. This place is amazing. I love stuff like this. No, they wouldn't polish the marble. Obviously, the temple itself was covered, was made of marble, right? So the exterior is all marble. But over time, um, this thing is five, I mean, was constructed 500 plus years ago. It went through fires. It went through some other stuff. And, you know, years and years and years. And, of course, it will weather like this. I mean, I wouldn't expect something that old to remain pristine. You know what I mean? Just like these sculptures, you I wouldn't think, expect them. I think that the, the thing that survived might be the temple itself. That's what they mean by the stone structure. Oh, could be. Yeah, because it clearly has the, uh, yeah, might be the temple, yes. But this, you can, it looks so fake because, look, there's only half a circle. The rest of it is gone. The rest of it is missing. Any idea what those sculptures were made from? These here? These are stone. These 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 sculptures are made of stone. They're stone. I think no touching, no touching. Really? She said no touching? No, that guy over there. And but here you see there's plaque. Was a lot of relics were uh were stolen and oh yeah, that looks like it might have been against the wall or something. Oh. You know what I mean? Could be. It could be against the wall. Yeah. Up against the wall. Uh oh. There's a lot of security around here. More security than um, other places. So let me show you this. Um, I'm just curious about this here. This is a stone ancestral temple. Stone ancest ancestral temple of Fushu. Fushou. 1675. Yeah, that's what happens. I mean, people, I mean, you've had foreigners come in here um, and, of course, they would cart stuff away that it lands in museums. Um, and that's kind of what happens. But this stuff is really fascinating that you can just walk right up to it. So this is the area of tombstone carvings. So these are tombstone carvings, guys. That's what these are. See that area of stone, tombstone carvings. So that's what these are. And this is an incense burner engraved with pines. So pines. Right? Hmm? Qing Qing Dynasty. Dynasty. Yes, very intricate detail. Wow, that would cost a fortune in the States. <laughs> probably would if it's uh, yeah, taken. It probably uh, cost a fortune here too. Yeah, it's probably cost a fortune here too, Brunus. Yes, because these things are so old, you know what I mean? Throne inside tomb. This is the Ming Dynasty. So stone thrown inside the tomb. Huh. Look at that. Burn some incense. It's not a working temple, so there's no incense burning going on here. It's a museum now. But if you go to a, other temples that are actually temples that are still operating as a temple, you can burn incense. But there's no incense burning right now here. No, these, uh, generally speaking, these would adorn or uh, be near or adorn tombs, but these are actually taken from that, so there's nobody buried. It's not a cemetery. It's not a cemetery, but these things would be on, like, actual tombs. The tall ones, for example, like these over here, these stone carvings, they would be, like, actual somebody's uh, tomb, but they're ancient, these things, so they're here at the, they're here at the museum. But there's nobody buried here, no. And then, if I go against the wall over here, if I go against the wall over here, there's all this stuff enclosed in glass. 
like stones, old stones, for example. I mean, really old stuff. So check this out. I mean, it's hard to see probably because of the reflection of the glass, but these are all um, epitaph stones. Epitaph stones are stone carvings buried in a grave and inscribed with the family's history and the whole life of the, of the dead person. The epitaph stones usually consist of two stones, the base and the cover. Most of them are square-shaped or rectangle-shaped. Uh, the inscription was carved on the base and the title was on the cover. So you've got these, I, I know they're hard to see because of, there's a literal reflection with the glass, unfortunately. Um, but trust me, these things are really, really old. That's why they're protected. Five, six hundred years old, these things. Even more. It has Chinese writing on it. Please don't show the glass. <laughs> uh, yes, China really is amazing because it's got all the stuff. Again, there's a temple for the people who are just joining us. That's the actual temple right there. And as in the title, the name of the temple is in the title. The name of the temple is in the title. Let's kind of go around, and it's got five uh, pagodas, and it's known as the Five Pagoda Temple. Let's go around here, guys. Thanks for the one heart that went up. <laughs> and look at this door here. It's like a big stone, uh, a door made out of stone. Wow. Stone carvings of Eunuch Gao Zhong's tomb. So it's like a, it's a stone uh, entrance. Stone entrance. Wow. So this door, this stone entrance here actually uh, was once at a tomb. Of a eunuch. Of a eunuch, yeah. Well, you can't go, uh, it's just the entrance, it's just nothing on the other side. <laughs> Someone says go in. I can't, if I go around, it's just here, <coughs> the other side. <laughs> Thanks for the, the, the more hearts going up now. Thank you. <laughs> and then this looks like an actual tomb here. What would be like a real tomb? Oh, thank you, thank you. And then these these stone uh, carvings here. You see these here. With the, I think it's a turtle, like the yeah, turtle. turtle base, but it always has a dragon face, lion face combination. But it's a turtle, <laughs> but it's a turtle yeah. So, uh, steel of rebuilding Jingdu Temple under the Imperial Edict. Ah. What's steel? Steel. I think they misspell, um, I don't know, I think, they, did they try to say steel? Yeah. Like the metal? Yeah, I think it's a word. It's they misspelled it? <laughs> hey, Brooklyn, how are you? Can I screenshot those turtles? Yes. Let me pull back a little bit. Actually, okay. let, let me go around because this is the back end of the turtles, at least these here. I'll go around, look at all these tur turtles here. I'll go around, these are huge. 